Hi there, Karen Rockkind here, AKA Purpose Girl, Women's Empowerment Coach, Corporate Trainer here with a special special message for the holidays. So first of all, happy, happy holidays. I hope that this message finds you well, finds you taking good care of yourself, finds you really loving yourself, and finds you able to love life because that is truly what it is all about. So what I want to talk to you about today is how you can truly have a happy holiday. So we know that this time is supposed to be all merry and joyful and we're supposed to be, you know, just full of, you know, beauty and yumminess. And yet I see so many people running around store to store. Did they check off their list? Did they get all their gifts? Does their table look perfect? Do I have to spend time with this aunt? And you know, my mom and my mother-in-law are fighting for our time and I feel guilty and they're just filled, filled with so much stress at this time that is supposed to be so happy. So what I want to do today is to talk to you and give you a few tips to ensure that you have the happiest holiday season possible. Number one, I want you to get very, very, very clear about what this holiday means to you. Is this holiday for you about spirituality? Is this holiday for you about family? What is the purpose of holiday for you? Be clear before you go into the holiday season, before you go into the holiday. Be clear about what the holiday means to you. And then whenever kind of the other stuff comes up, check it against the meaning for you. And always go back to the meaning. Always go back to the purpose first. So that's number one. Number two, there is a great deal of pressure right now in terms of who you are supposed to spend your time with and whether or not you're equally spending your time with everybody. And lots of people might try to guilt you into spending time with them. Now, certainly... I would love to tell you, just do whatever you want to do and what everyone else wants doesn't matter. In reality, we sometimes do things that don't, we don't necessarily want to do because we know it's the right thing. And we do love Aunt Bertha. We do love spending time with mom or mom-in-law. But we also need to know our limits. So I want you to get very clear on understanding before the holiday season, who will you be spending time with that absolutely drains you? So if you can spend more time with people who energize you and lift you up, awesome. If you find yourself then you already have plans of people who drain you, then I want you to go in with a plan. In advance, think about what will my plan be when I am feeling drained? Maybe it will be to go for a walk. Maybe it will be to go to the bathroom, pretend that you have the runs and you have to go to the bathroom for a little while. Whatever it is, I want you to get very clear about how you will limit your time. Maybe you set a time limit on it. We're going to spend an hour with mom or we're going to spend two hours with the in-laws. Set your time so that you are taking care of you and taking care of your family responsibilities in the best way possible. Number three, there's just a ton of pressure around being happy, right? So any of you who watch my videos and, you know, follow me at all, you know that I have my master's degree in the science of happiness. And one of the things we know about happiness is that when we feel pressure to be happy, we're actually miserable. So I want you to go into the season not thinking about, I have to be happy, Instead, I want you to get very clear about what actually does make you happy and then schedule some of that in. So one of the things that makes me happy is having an awesome outfit for New Year's Eve. So I already bought it. I don't even know what I'm doing on New Year's Eve, but I already bought it. One of the things that makes me happy is travel. And I'm not able to go away during the holiday, but I scheduled it for right after the holiday. And one of the things I absolutely need during the holiday season is I need time to retreat. I need time to be in my comfies and to snuggle up on the couch with a blanket and to watch my favorite movie, Love Actually, that is so much about the holiday season. I need that. I need to be able to read. And so if you need that or whatever you need, please take an hour and do that. And I know you might have three kids running around and lots of people counting on you. Trust me you'll be better able to take care of them and everyone else once you have first scheduled in that hour for yourself. So there's a lot that you can do at the holiday season. I hope you have a happy, beautiful, merry, joyous holiday season. Live purposefully, love yourself, and love life. And as always, I do give, I do offer 30-minute free coaching sessions, so be in touch. And I am offering a Rock Your Purpose series for 2014, so check that out too. Bye for now.